All right, so tier one conceal put out their Monday build drill challenge. This week, it's three build drills all together. So one at 15, one at 10, one at seven yards for a combined time. We are trying to beat uh, Sawyer Clark's time of 8.06. We'll see how it goes. The first, we're gonna run two guns and then a rifle. The first gun we're gonna run is the Zevtech OZ9 Elite Standard. This has a Trigicon arm, a Trigicon arm R on top of it and their two pound trigger spring. The other gun we're gonna run is the Zevtech OZ9C with the Timney competition, comp, man, with the Timney competition trigger, the Holosun green dot on top, and the chunk port arc division reactor slide. Pretty sure this thing is gonna win, but we will see. So I'm gonna step it back here to 15 and we'll see how we do. All right, so that was an 11.33 because Sawyer Clark, man, you shoot crazy good. So this was in an 11.33, and as we can see on here, I threw two Charlies overall. I threw these on my, uh, pretty sure I threw these on my 10 yard string, but, but you guys just watched it on camera. Which ones did I throw it on? But I'll take that, 11.33, not Sawyer Clark's time, but so the next one we're going to shoot is the Zevtech OZ9C with the Timney competition trigger and the Arc Division ported slide and barrel. This thing's about to scream. So pretty comparable. So I shot an 11.49. Um, my splits should have been a lot faster. I will, I will say, little, little bit of movement messed with my build drill more than I thought it would. Let's go look at the target. Been four nine, and I dropped. One, two, looks like three Charlies. Um, I am 99% sure that I threw these at 15 yards. My optic was holding to the left side. Everything kind of stacked to the left. Uh, so for the rest of every, both, both other iterations, 10 and seven yards, I held more on the right side and held them more to where I wanted to. So I need to check my optic because I definitely stacked stuff on the left side, but I'll, I'll take that 11.49, pretty comparable between the two guns. So it's the shooter, not the gun that matters the most. Now let's shoot the rifle and see what kind of times we get with the rifle. All right, so just to end the video, we're gonna run this little build drill challenge with the rifle because why not? Uh, and I'll run it the first time without the Diligent Defense Co. can on the front so I can get a time. And then we'll run it the second time with the can because suppressors are awesome. This is 933 for a total of 18 shots. Let's go check the target. So it looks like with the rifle, I had a line breaker and two out. Apparently I just want to shoot Charlie's. That looks like it might have been a line breaker too. All right, so the last one we're going to run with the Diligent Defense Co. Enticer STI suppressor on the gun. I love Diligent Defense Co. suppressors, so you guys should go check those out for sure. Well, I picked up one shot and 11.88 when I shot the steel down there, so. Diligent Defense Co. Suppressors. I turned the setting on my timer all the way down so that I could pick up suppressed shots and I still can't pick any suppressed shots up. The only shot that I can ever pick up is when, when the round hits the steel. So I got one round and 11.88. So the end of that where I kind of paused and looked over and then shot a piece of steel, put me in 11.88 on the clock. So it didn't register a single shot from the suppressor 
but it did pick up the sound of the steel at about seven yards. All right, guys, so that was just a quick video, just a quick little Monday range session, just shooting some different build drills with different guns. What we learned from the video is that no matter how high speed the gun is, ultimately it's the shooter, because even with two very nice guns, I still did not shoot as good as Clark Sawyer. Also, uh, I shot both guns pretty comparatively on time. Uh, my splits were about the same, which means that it's on me. It's on the recoil management and is on the shooter to be able to shoot extremely high standards like that, extremely fast. I could probably be moving a lot quicker. I think that I'm getting in and out of each position a lot slower than Clark Sawyer did, but doesn't matter. My splits were still slower than his splits after watching the Instagram reel and stuff. So, uh, big shout out to Infinite Defense and their Infinity Targets. I absolutely love shooting these things. You guys can get 15% off all of their products with code TAC15. Got it right this week. I, big shout out to Diligent Defense Co. You guys can get 10% off all of their swag, like t-shirts and hats and stuff with code MADMINUTE. Big shout out to Zevtech. You guys can get all of the Zevtech product line. You can get 10% off with code MADMINUTE. As always, a shout out to Callaway Ballistics for supplying all of the ammo that I use here on the channel. You guys can get 5% off plus free shipping on orders over $200 with code MADMINUTE. Last shout out is to Dirty Bird Knives. They are a company owned by a personal friend of mine. They make the highest quality handmade blades on the market. I absolutely love Dirty Bird Knives. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook, Dirty Bird Knives. Remember guys, show your hits, show your fuck ups. The point of training is failing. If we're not failing, then we're not training hard enough. We have to find our limits and establish new baselines for ourselves to go out onto the range and attack and work on. That is how we get better. Failure is the process. So. It's okay to be dangerous, and I'll see you guys soon. not going well for me. Okay, so it counted 21 shots because of the fall in a 12.52. I, I don't want to shoot it again. I just, I got a brand new Infinity Target. I just wanted to keep it like super crisp. So that's the video.